Today we will build walkie-talkies with a huge range using a Raspberry Pi Zero. Cool stuff! Let's start and build one or two of them. By the way, they can also connect to smartphones and PCs. If you stick around till the end, we will create our own Clubhouse clone using this technology. Only on invitation and only for the first row, of course. Gritzy YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent with a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. Remember, if you subscribe, you will always sit in the first row. If you are an online gamer, you probably heard of Mumble. We will build walkie-talkies that connect to this service. As said, this gives them an extremely long range because they are based on Wi-Fi. So, what do we need? a Raspberry Zero W or any other Pi. A re-speaker mic hat. This cool device can also be used for other stuff like a faked Alexa. A loudspeaker or earphones. Code written in Go by Daniel Cote. An SD image compiled by me for a quick start. A 3D printed housing. This is of course optional. A power bank if you want to get it portable. A mumble server either your own or a publicly available one. This project heavily depends on the work done by Ben Lewis and, for the case, on Paul Van Gaan's design. Let's start with the re-speaker hat. It seems to be from Seed Studio, but you get it also from other sources. It has the same form factor as a Pi Zero and contains a lot of useful stuff. Its main component is a WM8960 chip that connects the two microphones to the Raspberry Pi. It also has two sound outputs, one for headphones and one for a 1 watt loudspeaker. What do we need more for our sound projects? Besides that, it offers three LEDs which will show the status of our walkie-talkie. And a button that will serve as our push to talk or PTT button. So the hardware is ready. Where do we get the software from? Because it's not easy to install the needed software, I created a ready-made image of an SD card. You can download this file and store it on an SD card using a Raspberry Pi Imager or another tool. It is around 8GB and you should not have any problems if your card is bigger. By the way, if you want to install your device from scratch, you find the link in the description. Before you insert the SD card in your Pi, you should add a WPA supplicant file to your SD card and change your Wi-Fi credentials. You also have to add an empty file called SSH if you do not want to connect a monitor and a keyboard to your Pi. Here is a small trick. I stored these two files on my PC's desktop and just copy them to all the SD cards I create for my Pi projects. Like that, I always have a working Wi-Fi and SSH connection to my newly built Pis. If you boot your Pi with a newly created SD card, you should find its IP address using Advanced IP Scanner. Its hostname is WalkiePi. If you wait long enough, you can also connect to it using walkiepi.local instead of its IP address. I kept the standard credentials Pi and Raspberry. The first step after login is to change the hostname and other settings if needed. How can we test that the hardware and the setup worked? Connect a headphone and type these commands. Now you should hear the sound of the microphones in your earphones. Please use headphones and not a loudspeaker for that test. If you are satisfied, you can stop it with Ctrl C. But this is no walkie-talkie. We need at least two of them connected together. So what is the next step? You're lucky. A Mumble client should already run on your Pi. But what is Mumble? Mumble is a free, open source, low latency voice chat application, mainly used by gamers. It consists of servers and clients. As said, your Mumble client should already run on your Raspberry Pi and should be connected to this free Mumble server I created for you. Its address consists of a server name, a colon and a port number. If everything is correct, 
especially your Wi-Fi credentials in the WPA supplicant file. The red and the green LED should be on because your walkie-talkie is connected to the server. If you download a Mumble client to your smartphone or PC and connect it to the same server, you can test your newly built device. WalkiePi connected and entered channel. You should see your walkie-talkie with the name WalkiePi on your smartphone or PC and if you press the button on the hat, you should see the blue LED and hear your voice in the Mumble client. One, two, three, test. One, two, three, test. Or acoustic feedback if your Pi is too close to your loudspeakers. Maybe you already meet other viewers also testing their device in this room. If you sit in the first row and watch this video timely, you even might find me in the room and we can have a chat. But before we start chatting, you should SSH into your Raspberry using PuTTY and change the name of your device in this file. Reload and restart the service. And now you are connected to Mumble with a new name. If two devices use the same name on the same server, they are always connected and disconnected. That is why you have to change the name as soon as possible. You can stay with this server. But of course, everybody else in the same room can listen to your conversations. If this is not what you want, you have to create a private server on iMumble or any other public platform. Or if you want to use it as an interphone in your home, you probably want to install a Mumble server on one of your raspberries behind your firewall. I also left a write-up in the description on how to install such a server. If you want to use another server, do not forget to change the server address in this file. Of course, you can also connect your smartphone or PC to your private server if you want. That's it. We built cool walkie-talkies with a global range for a few dollars. Unfortunately, they do not work far away from your Wi-Fi. Unless you use a trick. You can create a hotspot with the same credentials as the home network on your smartphone. Then your walkie-talkies also work outside the house. Even cooler. By the way, audio quality is relatively high compared with other walkie-talkies. In the end, you can put everything into such a case. Because I did not have such nice loudspeakers with a case, I printed one. Like that, everything snugly fits and is held together with only one screw. If you want it portable, you can add a power bank. And maybe somebody creates a nice 3D printed case to include a battery like that one and a boost converter for the 5 volts needed by the Pi. Such a 950 milliampere battery should last for a few hours. If this is not enough, just add a bigger one. Do you remember? I promised something bigger. I promised a Clubhouse clone. Clubhouse is the new social media service where people can meet around the topic and discuss it. If you share your server address, including the hot topic you want to discuss with others, in the comments, we will have a Clubhouse clone. On invitation only, of course. It is even more exclusive. Only viewers of this video who stuck till the end will know it exists. Hear you soon on the Swiss Guys Clubhouse clone. Maybe we should call it Chalet? As always, you find the relevant links in the description. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, please consider supporting the channel to secure its future existence. Thank you. Bye.